What's up guys, Nick here and uh, today I'm back for another tutorial. This specific tutorial is going to be in After Effects and we're going to be using the effect called CC Radio Blur. Show you a little preview of what it is now. Okay, so that's the effect we're going to be working with. It's quite a common effect but some people don't know how to do it so I'll walk you through it now. So open up your After Effects. You want to come up to the file and then import and then file. You want to scroll down and find the clip you want. Mine's a free headshot feed from some person on YouTube. And then you want to drag out the clip, get rid of the black lines because from the PVR. Then you want to come over to layer, click on new, and click adjustment layer. After you've done that, you want to come over here to the effects and presets tab. I've already t got the CC Radio Blur type thing because I used it on my last edit I did. But you just got to type in CC Radio Blur and then you want to drag it onto the adjustment layer. After you've done that, you want to click on the downwards arrows three times to you come to this screen, and you want to go along and find the point where you want your CC radial blur to start. So I'm going to use it just here, and I want to click on the stopwatch, and I want to go one frame ahead until it there, and type in four. Four, I think, is the perfect man because when you go too high, it does look a bit rubbish and doesn't look as clean as the 4 does so I think 4 is the perfect amount to use for this effect I think it gives a nice look and doesn't look too overpowering so after you've added that you want to go across to you want the CC radio blur to stop so I'd want mine to stop about there and then you want to click on this diamond shaped uh, thing and it says add or remove keyframe at current time click that go one more frame ahead with the next frame thing and set the amount back down to zero so after you've done that and you can preview the clip it comes out with a nice kind of effect it gives a nice look to the edit so that's all there is to the CC Ready Blur it's quite a nice effect to use and really simple to do so yep that's the end of this tutorial if you have any other tutorials you want me to go through with I'll do my best to get to them so leave it in the comment section and this is Nick bye